They really took the and Knuckles parts of Sonic 3 and Knuckles way too seriously. I had unrealistically high hopes for this show. You know, giving the best character in Sonic Movie 2 his own spin-off to flesh out his character and expand the Sonic Movie universe is a great idea. The stars seem to align perfectly for this to be another fun addition to the already fun Sonic movies. That is, until a Wade showed up and screwed everything. This show is not about Knuckles the Echidna. Despite what the marketing makes you believe, this show barely focuses on Knuckles at all. Does he appear and have some plot relevancy? Sure, but what this show is really focusing on is Wade Whipple. You know, that random cop guy from the first three Sonic movies? Yeah, he gets the main storyline about a bowling tournament while Knuckles is just along for the ride. He seems more like an afterthought for a good chunk of the show's runtime, especially episodes 4 to 6. The first three episodes handled him okay, but everything after that felt like they are actively forgetting about the title character. Maybe it's a budgetary issue, I don't know, but they could have at least worked out something. And that sucks, because there was potential for a good story surrounding him getting adjusted to his new home and his new family, and learning to enjoy life for what it is, and not to be so hyper obsessed with his duty as an echidna warrior. Then no, instead, he focus on these human characters barely anybody cares about. And the thing is, I don't really mind the humans in the Sonic movies, as long as they're supplements to the Sonic characters. And I don't even mind that Wade is co-starring with Knuckles here. I feel like trying to expect characters like Rouge or the Chaotix to appear in this like sideshow, it feels like you're asking too much. But this show goes way too far in the other direction, neglecting Knuckles to focus on dumb characters participating in a dumb bowling tournament. They didn't even do something like Godzilla Minus One, where the humans are so interesting and likable that you don't mind that the title character doesn't get that much screen time. Other than Wade's mom and Wade to an extent, these human characters are bland, dumb, loud, and insufferable. Especially Wade's sister. Sweet mother of chaos, I hated Wade's sister. Note, please do not harass anybody who worked on this show, especially the actors. They were just doing their job. They should not be sent death threats because their characters are extremely annoying. Are there good things in the show? Well, yeah. I like Knuckles' character, and any scene with him as a central focus are a joy to watch. It's just a shame that they constantly push Knuckles to the side to focus on what? Pistol Pete? Oh yeah, my favorite Sonic character from my favorite Sonic game. Pistol Pete's Bowling Simulator DX, the search for who cares. I like the musical number in episode 4, I like Christopher Lloyd as Machakamak, and the CGI is surprisingly good for a television budget. Though, Sonic's eyebrow rings are still kind of horrifying. If you like this show, it's fine, but I just couldn't get into it. And now I'm worried for any other spin-offs coming in the future. The Sonic franchise has a vast array of stories and characters to adapt and choose from. I do not want to see something like a Shadow the Hedgehog show, where it gets sidelined for Natasha Rothwell trying to file divorce papers. I do not want that, please. Ah, no. Knuckles gets a 5 out of 10. If you're curious, check it out, but it's, but it's something that I never really want to check out again. It's knocking time.